Hello everyone, today I will be doing a thrift flip on this white skirt that you see here. As you have already seen on the thumbnail, this clothing makeover was inspired by the famous Strawberry Dress by Lyrica Matoshi. However, I'll be adding a Spooktober Halloween twist to it. So if you're interested in seeing how I do this, please keep on watching. As you can see, this is a white cotton blend skirt with lace panels and it even has a lining, which is quite nice. However, it is not apparent on camera, but this skirt is rather old and the white has yellowed significantly, which is why I have chosen it as my victim, I mean charity case for today's project. For my first step, I'll be weighing my fabric. Weighing scale, please. Thank you. You may be wondering, why is she wearing this fabric, you ask? Well, that is because I plan to dye it pink. I'll be using Dylon Multipurpose Dye in Rose of Paris. As for the instructions on Dylon's website, 5 grams of dye is needed for every 250 grams of dry weight fabric. So you will see that one packet is perfect for my needs. As per the instructions, you will need to dissolve your powdered dye in boiling hot water and... What was that? Oh, you need me to read you the instructions before we begin? Well, I'm pretty sure you could search it online yourself. Oh, fine. Let me just rewind time real quick. I'll just put the instructions here for you quickly now. Take a screenshot. Oh, too late. As I was saying, mix your powdered dye into the boiling hot water. Be careful not to burn yourself. Give it a good stir to dissolve it all. I would recommend wearing gloves so you don't stain your fingers. If you had succeeded in taking a screenshot of the instructions I put up for you, you will know that you need a boiling pot of water on the stove, add in some salt, make sure you gain every single grain. Now, mix it all around to make sure that salt is nicely dissolved, and then take your hot liquid dye and pour it into your boiling salty water. Now take your skirt, making sure it is damp, before lowering it into your bubbling pot. Remember, you have to weigh it dry, but dye it damp. At least that's what the instructions say if you have read them, which I'm sure you have. Now lower the heat and bring it all to a simmer. Merrily mix your skirt around in the pot to make sure it dyes evenly. I hope you enjoy doing this because you have to do this for 20 minutes. During this process, contemplate the deep pink of your skirt and wonder why it doesn't look anything like the color in the packet. Seriously, this had me worried. However, I decided I was way too invested in following the instructions right now and to stop would... Well, I just continued to dye it for a few 20 minutes before I rinsed it off in cold water. I'm just gonna skip the tedious drying process and you can see here that the skirt is now a very pretty pink that does in fact look like Rose of Paris. So I'm pretty glad that I did follow the instructions because when dry, it is a very close match to what I wanted it to be. Well, only the cotton. You can see the lining didn't really take the dye and the lace turned out darker than I expected. Did I mention the lace is stretchy? Because it is. Which is why I chose the multi-purpose dye since I read it was suitable for most fabrics including certain stretchy materials. Alright, now you can just... I'm just going to put this skirt out so and just admire it. I told myself, you could have stopped here, but you didn't. Because we have a team, and that team is strawberries. Now, next step. Here I have printed out a template that I drew on my tablet. If you wish to attempt this delightfully tedious, I mean creative, delightfully creative project for yourself, I have linked my tablet in the description box below. You may print it out for your own personal use for this sort of project and spend a good half hour cutting away. I have to say, watching this cutting process sped up is both impressive and slightly anxiety inducing, so let's just skip to the end. When you're done procrastinating, move on to the next step. You get to decide the placement of the strawberries. What fun! Here, I was still happily laboring under the, de the delusion that this would be a simple project. You know, just a few strawberries on the edge of the skirt, here and there. Oops! As I was saying, I was still thinking that this would be a simple project. Oh, here I am putting some double-sided tape on each strawberry to prevent further slipping, like the incident you saw just now. Anyways, I spent a lot of time weighing the pros and cons 
of having like a simple design versus something that would be more labor intensive. So I was just going through the choices. I didn't know what to do. Should I go for something that would be less time consuming and easy, but not quite what I wanted? Or should I go for something that would be more complex? That would, you know, just suck the life out of me. But it would delight the innermost depths of my soul. I chose the latter. Once decided, it took me even more time to place exactly where I wanted each strawberry. And then I had to put like a piece of cardboard underneath before I started the painting process. Here I got a pink Posca pen to outline each strawberry, at least the pink berry part. The reason why I'm using pink is because I wanted the outline to blend in with the skirt. I didn't want it to show. Later on, I would just get a green Posca pen for the leaves. At this point, I realized I had forgotten something crucial. I had forgotten to outline the inner leaves. An eternity later... If you watch up till this point, I must say you're a real trooper. 
you get a, a gold star. However, you're probably wondering, where's the spooky part of this clothing rescue slash makeover? Well, sorry everyone, but this video has gone way too long, so I need to split it into two parts. Please subscribe so you don't miss part 2 coming next week. If you're watching this from the future, hello, you can just click the link above to see part 2 of this makeover. Clothing rescue makeover, I haven't figured out what to call this yet. Please come back next week to watch the spooky part of my strawberry script makeover. Do like and comment below about what you enjoyed about this video. And thanks everyone for watching. I hope you have a great week ahead. See you next week. Bye!